keep on reading a little bit more. <laughs> Go ahead and read. But whosoever shall do and teach them, uh -huh. the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, that is plain scripture right there, ain't it? He said, if you do and teach them, you're going to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now, does that sound like he done away with them? Man, I mean, this, that was so simple. Keep reading. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, uh -huh. you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, uh -huh. and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. Stop right there. If you go and kill now, are you in danger of the judgment? Yep. You still in danger of the judgment, aren't you? Yep. Go ahead and read. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause uh -huh. shall be in danger of the judgment. Uh -huh. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rekha, uh -huh. shall be in danger of the council. Now, wait a minute now. So now he adds something to that commandment, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He's strapping it on tight, ain't he? He ain't doing away with the commandment because you can't go and kill somebody and not be guilty before God. So he's just making it harder for you to keep. Now, he said, if you're just angry with your brother without a cause, uh, uh, you should be in danger of judgment. And whosoever says that his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council, go ahead and read. But, whoso, but whosoever shall say, thou fool, uh -huh. shall be in danger of hell fire. Now, now, did he do away with this commandment right here? No. He didn't do away with it. He's just making it, he's enforcing it. He's making it uh, uh, harder for you to keep. Skip down to verse, uh, uh, skip down to verse 27. Go ahead and read. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh -huh. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh upon a woman uh -huh. to lust after her, have committed adultery with her already in his heart. Now, did he do away with it? No. He just added to it, ain't he? Mm -hmm. He added to your mind. Not only do you can't do the physical act, now you can't, he don't even want you thinking about it. So he's strapping it on tighter than eighty. Yeah. That's why I don't get something. Are you? Are we reading the same book or what? <laughs> <laughs> he's strapping it on tighter. Now let's go. Now let's go to Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. Ecclesiastes twelve. We got one more after this. Ecclesiastes twelve, and we're gonna pick it up at verse thirteen. Ecclesiastes twelve and. 13. Go ahead and read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh huh. Fear God and keep his commandments. That is, he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Why? For this is the whole duty of men. This is the whole duty of men. He didn't say this is the whole duty of Israel, did he? He said this is the whole duty of man. Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment uh -huh. with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So this is the whole duty of man, that you fear God and keep his commandments. He said it's the whole duty of Israel. Well, that's for the Israelites to do, and then we are the greats. <laughs> you still got to keep your commandments, brother, because that's what you're going to be judged by. We have Revelation now. Revelation 22. We're going to the last book in the Bible, almost the last verse in the Bible. Look at what's going to be. Look, look at what the Lord is going to have his angel to say. Revelation 22 and 13. Go ahead and read it. I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do this commandment. Blessed are, blessed are they that do his commandment. He's going to tell you which one. Go ahead and read. That they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now wait, Jesus already told the rich young ruler what he had to do to get eternal life. Now he's telling you again that first he came down on Mount Sinai as God came down, didn't he?
Then he turned around, came in person as Jesus, as flesh and blood man. Then he went back to heaven and did what? Now he turned around and gave you the commandments again. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate into the city. This is talking about eternal life right here, ain't it? Same thing he told that rich young ruler. Go ahead and read. For without dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers. He said, for without our dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers. Well, did the Lord say thou should not commit adultery? Go ahead and read. He, he talking about the two-legged dog, too, by the way. <laughs> what else? And murderers. Murderers. Did the Lord say thou should not kill? Go ahead and read. And idolaters. And idolaters, uh-huh. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Didn't the Lord say thou should not bear false witness? And we hear the last book, almost the last verse, and we still tell you what? Keep the commandments. Verse 16. Go ahead and read. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the church. Uh-huh. Now we testify this thing in the churches today, aren't we? I, Jesus, sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. Go ahead. I am the root and the offspring of David. Uh huh. And the bright and morning star. We'll tell you next time how he's the root and offspring of David. So I thank everybody for listening and coming out. And thank everybody for being here. Thank you.